Hey, what's up, guys? This is Red Rum 781 coming right at you guys. And today I'm going to talk about the 6.8 SBC cartridge. Um, again, again, this caliber I really don't see too much on there. Everything I mostly see online is 5.56, and it's uh, very, very hard to find um, 6.8 bullets videos, 6.8 uh, bullet videos that are um, showing ballistics or showing like a like there's a popular guy out there uh, his YouTube channel's name uh, his title's a brass fetcher and he always has these different cartridges on his um, on his channel but the majority of them are 556 five, there's only one video that's out there that's 6.8 and it's a triple shock Barnes but the, all he has a lot of data on every uh, oh, the majority of all common calibers out there but the 6.8 the 6.8 to me, I I felt like it should have been a common caliber by now. The price is pretty expensive. The price hasn't um, went down. That's the only really big con that I see on spending like a dollar a bullet on this cartridge compared to um, a regular regular 5.56, where you know it's like the cheapest out there is like 30 cents, or you see sometimes for uh, some tool ammo that's like a uh, 25 cents, 27 cents out there. So yeah, there is a big difference, but also. Um, but also in damage, there's also a, a big difference as well. Uh, I'll probably put some um, images in below of uh, VMAX 223 loads and uh, some of the ballistics what it does to coyotes. And then I'll compare it to the 6.8 VMAX. This is the same exact round, just one's chambered in 6.8 and one's 223. So you could get an idea, just look at the size of the box. Look at that. Get an idea of how more bigger the cartridge is. Let me take one of these out here. Show you guys. Brand new box. It's 223 right here. Alright. Actually, this is. I thought these were the same exact round. They're actually not. This is a Hornady Open Tip. Hornady Open Tip Match. And a 5.56 VMAX. Um, but the images I will be posting will both be VMAX loads. The 6.8 and the 2.23. And they will both be on Coyote. So this is a 5.56 right here. A 55 grain. And then you got this uh, 6.8. See, you can see the difference big time. Not only in the bullet. <gasps> excuse me. Not only in the bullet size. But the, the actual casing itself. Where it uh, holds all the powder. Check that out. So I can bring that in a little closer for you. Doesn't look like it's focusing. But yeah. So yeah, there there is a difference. And um these these rounds though, that the thing about the 6.8, the the reason why they're so expensive is that a lot of high quality manufacturers are producing the 6.8 round. Just like this 556. Actually, this 556 round of uh, the VMAX Hornady is about the same exact price as this 6.8 Hornady rounds. They're both they're both very um high quality rounds and um, the reason why uh, people go with the 556 is that there's more cheaper manufacturers like Tula and Wolf that are making the 556 you don't see no um, Tula or Wolf supporting the 6.8 round that's the only reason why but when you're talking Hornady versus Hornady 556 for 6.8 they're gonna run the same exact price they're the same exact price so yeah and here you got your uh, this is my 6.8 up receiver I don't I don't have it on um on a lower receiver right now. I was I had my other lower connected to another 5.56. So yeah, you see a bigger barrel. The only difference between the 6.8 and the 5.56 besides the cartridge is the bolt. It's still the same exact bolt carrier, but it's the bolt, barrel, magazine. Those three things, you got a whole different gun. Me personally, I you know I hear a lot of talk about the 300 blackout. Personal opinion, when we're talking about foot pounds of energy. The 6.8 takes it by far. We got um this box right here. Uh, this is the 6.8. Let's check out the 223 first. The 223 coming out of a 20 inch barrel. And keep in mind, most of the barrels that we have are 16 inches. So what this says on the box, the majority of them are rated for 20 inch barrels, not 16. So this is saying it's um. Off the muzzle, this is leaving uh, 3,240 uh, foot pound uh, feet per second. 
and it doesn't say foot pounds of energy on this box. It doesn't, but normally it's around like 12 or 11. But with this, but with a 16 inch barrel, it's probably, I will say, a thousand at best foot pounds of energy at best. Uh, and probably feet, uh, foot pounds, I mean, feet per second, I'll say 29, maybe 3,000. And then we got <clears throat> the 6.8 round, which is also a 16 inch barrel. But the description on the back that's labeled is rated for a 16 inch barrel, not a 20. Like the, the 223556, this is rated for a 20 inch barrel. This is for a 16 inch barrel. So the data you're, get, you're being given is the exact or somewhat similar to what you should be getting. So you got this leaving at uh, 2,460 feet per second. And then you got this, which is 3,000. So you're probably, you're probably thinking like, wait, this is leaving a lot faster. Um, the foot pounds should be pretty similar. No, not quite. Um, there's, a, there's a formula out there. I'll probably create another video and do a math formula for you guys. You uh, calculate the grains, and it's uh, by um, foot, uh, it's grains times, I want to say, uh, grains times velocity, which is weight times velocity squared equals, and then you get your foot pounds of energy. I'm going to create another video, and I'm going to talk, I'm going to explain to you how you could um, see it with the data that's given, you can get your foot pounds of energy per per 100 yard, 200 yard, 300 yard, and you can see more or less how many foot pounds of energy is given with a math formula. So that's another thing I learned in physics, which uh, this is our Einstein physics shirt right here. But yeah, that's a that's another thing out there. I'll put a formula out there, maybe in my next video, and I'll show you guys. But yeah, we got this. I don't know how the exact numbers with me, but um, it's coming out around 15 to 16, uh, depending on the grain. The 160 grain is coming out at 16 foot pounds of energy, 1600. So 1,600 foot pounds of energy, which is pretty impressive. That's that's more than any 300 blackout round out there. 300 blackout, you see them more like on the 1300, what I have seen, 12 and under on the on the 110 grains, which is more than the 556, but not not by far. The 6.8, 1600 foot pounds of energy. That's that's a lot. That's more than the AK47. So yeah, that's, you're getting a good round, good cartridge, and it carries uh, its uh, foot pounds of energy. It carries it pretty good downrange. 100, 200, 300 doesn't lose as much, nor near as much as the 556. So yeah, I just wanted to talk a little bit about the round. Um, sh I've shot pumpkins, watermelons, uh, concrete, any practically everything. Car doors with a at the range with a 6.8 SBC round, and it. The, it's crazy when I shoot these two liters the two liter just explodes when I'm using the 6.8 VMAX compared to me using a 5.56 VMAX with, um, with a 16 inch barrel it's no, not, 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 too, um, not too impressive compared to the 6.8 so when I should hit the fan yeah I probably would want to go with um, it, it honestly it depends on your budget if you could afford the 6.8 round and you could buy thousands of rounds and just go with the 6.8 but when it comes to like parts accessories um we're getting more round, we're getting more rounds for practice. Uh, the 556 is going to be the way to go. That's I have three 556 uh, rifles, and I only have one 68 because the price to shoot this is just so damn expensive. But um, I love the cartridge though. It's it's a good cartridge to have. You feel the power. Not only do you feel because the recoil is not that much compared to the 556, but you see the destruction, a lot more destruction compared to the 556. So yeah, guys, I just wanted to talk a little bit about it. Um, if you have any questions about the 6.8 round or um, anything else, so I'll probably be uploading some videos, maybe of me shooting two liters with a 6.8 and then comparing it to a 2.23, and I'll try to film it and see what you guys think. All right, guys. Take it easy. Red Room 71 out.